This is the color. Yeah, it's looking a lot cleaner. All right guys, so I did some sanding. Got it to be a lot smoother. Um, these little corners right here, where there were uh, these silicones, uh, fill, body filler, whatever, I kind of shaved them, I kind of shaved them down, sanded it, and I might add some Bondo, maybe, maybe not, so that this whole piece right here can kind of just look like one piece once it's painted. Um, I'm, yeah, that might, that actually might work, so I might have to cut into the silicone a little bit more, or whatever this, this compound is. I'm gonna cut it into it more, fill it up with uh, body filler, sand it down so it could be all smooth. Got some other stuff out, power steering, uh, whatever that thing was on this side. Oh, got the harness kind of stashed away right here. Since I don't want to take out the harness to paint and other things like my brake lines because um, I don't want to mess it up and my brake booster. I've installed brake boosters before, but it was on a Tesla and I kind of know how they are. I don't know how they are on the 240, but uh, it is going to be a pain in the ass to install if it's the same thing as a Tesla, so I don't want to mess with that. I'm going to leave it alone, tape it around. Some spots right here I'm going to clean up, so we're going to clean this up a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to try my best to spray around it right here. And when I was hammering the, the wheel well so my wheels can fit, I was hammering it right here. I'm going to try to bond to it and see if I can make it smooth again. Uh, that side is not too bad. Actually, I should not touch this side. Uh, maybe I'll do a little bit right here. Maybe I'll just focus on that area because I know there's some brackets that go here. And if I put Bondo over it, then uh, that wouldn't be such a smart idea. So All we're doing today is prepping. I bought everything just in case. You guys already know I'm always running back and forth to the store. So I kind of want to have everything ready. So everything is ready for me tomorrow. We're just going to prep today, guys. How do you guys think it's going to look? I'm going to paint the front, this front uh, support right here, this right here, this, the back, the wall. I'm going to paint everything. I'm going to repaint the bash bar white. This has a lot of gunk on it that I need to take care of. I have a wire brush somewhere. Here it is. Try my best to get this all out today and then hopefully paint can uh, go over that as soon as we're done sanding and everything i'm probably gonna hit probably gonna spray some simple green in there let it sit for a couple seconds a couple minutes and then spray it off hopefully it gets all the grease out well paint doesn't stick well to grease so we got to take care of that you know what's more annoying than taping and prepping taking the tape off well this is what I got so far. The sun's about to go down and uh, I'm not even close to being done. But uh, hopefully we can finish this today so we get started on painting tomorrow. I really don't know how I'm going to cover up the bottom. I'm probably going to use like a plastic bag or something. I don't know. I will, I'll figure something out. Alright guys, so we're all done for today. Check it out. Hood is all ready. Well, not the hood. Engine bay is all ready to paint. So we're gonna do this tomorrow. All right guys, so it's the next day, but uh, I'm not painting yet because there's a lot of uh, things I gotta prep up first. I had to add some more Bondo and stuff like that. Hopefully tomorrow for sure, I'm gonna start painting. So uh, that's all I'm gonna say for this clip. And we're gonna continue this video tomorrow. Alright guys, we are back day six, seven or something like that. I don't know, I lost count. This project is taking me way too long. But uh, I think the 240 is ready for paint. Actually, no, not never mind. I gotta, I gotta do a little bit more sanding. And then after that, we're gonna hit it with some tack cloth to clean it up a little bit. Right here, I got my paint. So at first, I thought this was just a normal paint, but I did some, I looked at it looked at the bottle and uh, you're supposed to spray it over chrome to get this look so uh, I had to pick up some chrome hopefully it turns out nice I never used this type of spray paint before so uh, I might let's let's grab a piece of metal somewhere and do a test and uh, see how it looks hopefully it turns out good because I don't want to go back to the store and pick up new paint because that's just gonna that's just gonna set me back even more all right so we're gonna spray my battery holding thing I'm gonna take it to the back Spray it with a couple layers of uh, primer, 
couple layers of chrome and then a couple of layers of this and then I'll show you guys how it looks like. Yo, I never sprayed chrome before. This looks pretty crazy. First layer of purple. Uh, don't mind the bubbles and the bumps. I didn't really prep this. I kind of just wanted to show you guys the color. But this is the first light coat of the anodized purple. Let's give it two more. And then, yeah, I'm starting to like it already. So I'm going to give it another 10 minutes in between coats. And spray the second coat and see if that looks any better. I guess the more coats you spray on, the darker the purple is going to look like. But it's not as shiny because I don't think I sprayed enough chrome. I just sprayed a little bit. But it's going to look nice, guys. Alright, so here's the second coat. It doesn't look like the purple on the can. It's a lot lighter. Definitely not the same color as the can. Unless... Unless the color will change if I add some more. It is only the second coat. I'm going to leave this in the sun to dry. See how it'll look like in a couple minutes. I actually got to stop by my house again and pick up my mask. Because I totally forgot that. And if you guys are painting, be sure to always carry a mask with you. Pick up the 3M one. It's really good quality and it's, 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 not, that, it's not that expensive. I think I only paid like 15, 20 bucks for it. And you could use it for a, a really long time. And once you're done with it, you can buy like a, a refill pod for, for cheap. So... Avoid using those cheap masks because when you breathe in, it's still, you still, you're still breathing in paint. I used to use that, and at the end of the little project, I would get like paint like right here because you're, it's, it's like sucking in all the in all the little open areas. So, breathing in paint is not good for you guys. So, I know I've done it a lot in the past, but I'm a changed man. I care about my health. The day is still young. Hopefully, I can get this done today. So, uh, I'll be back, and I'll see you guys in a couple seconds. All right, got my mask. If you guys need this, I'll leave it in my description below. I'll link you guys to a Amazon uh, link. Here we have it. Uh, got to do a couple more sanding. Right here is pretty smooth. There's some bumps that I can't get rid of. You know, what can I do? So, that looks good. That feels good. I'm going to hit it with some more, like maybe four, 400 grit. Make it a little bit more smoother right here as well these sanding lines right here when i was hitting it with 100 grit this is gonna be totally visible as soon as i paint it so we gotta fix that let me do one more sanding sesh and then we can hit the car with my leaf blower the thing you guys don't want to do before painting is wash everything down with water because one water takes forever to dry and two sometimes uh it's hard to see water drops so sometimes you think the whole car or your the part is dry and uh, when you spray it there's like a there's a little water drop and that just fucks up your paint. So try your best to hit it with like an air compressor. That works really good because it shoots air so fucking strong that it gets everything out. In this case, all I got is a leaf blower. And then I also bought some uh, tack cloth. So hopefully we can get out all the sanding residue and then hopefully the paint job can turn out real nice. All right, next step, tack cloth. This is gonna be your best friend when it comes to painting because it takes out everything. If there's any kind of dust on the paint, there is a couple things that's gonna happen. Paint's not gonna stick. You're gonna get a lot of chips. Uh, not chips, but you're gonna get a lot of bumps. You're gonna get, yeah, that's all I know. And this thing is only $2 too, so. So you know what, I'll leave this in my description as well. Uh, Amazon, even though I bought this at the store, but you can find this at O'Reilly's, AutoZone, Home Depot. It's called Tack Cloth, T-A-C-K, I believe. As soon as you're done sanding, blow the area a little bit, get all the dust out, and then hit it with the Tack Cloth. Remember, don't use any water. Yep, you just hit it like that. I'm actually gonna go all over. I don't think it's necessary for me to film that. So, I'll be back in like five minutes. All right guys, so first I am going to primer the passenger side and after that we'll hit the firewall and then the driver's side and then the front uh, front support so let's get it just I'm just nervous I don't know why I, I've done this so many times in the past maybe because there's a bunch of shit in the way I'm so used to I'm used I'm so used to painting like a flat surface like a bumper or something like that but I got a lot of curves in here got a lot of wires got a lot of just, just stuff so uh, let's hope it turns out nice first layer of primer is on uh, there's some spots back here on the firewall from for some reason the paint's not sticking maybe I didn't really do a good job cleaning as you can see but at least it's behind the motor and nobody's gonna see it 
everywhere else is starting to look good uh, all these holes right here uh, a lot of my grounds and stuff like that goes into it so I'm not blocking those off and as for a wire tuck guys that's gonna be for a future project um, I'm not trying to rush this project but at the same time I am in kind of a rush because there's a lot of events coming up and I need my car finished so unfortunately I can't really uh, knock out everything but you know what can you do in the future when I do another swap uh, maybe we can repaint and do it the right way so yeah but uh, yeah I'm gonna give it like 10 more minutes and then I'm gonna add the second layer of primer and then after that you know another 10 minutes or 15 minutes at the layer of color and after the color the clear and after the clear we're done so uh, I'm actually kind of excited to see the engine bay all chrome that'll be super sick let's uh let's let's do let's do that second coat of primer and then we could start throwing the chrome on oh guys check this out i did a little test a little test spray whoa look how shiny that is holy shit all right well i'm gonna keep on spraying it guys and then you guys will see how it looks like so let's do a little before and then then we'll do some after. Yo, what the hell? This is crazy. This is so fucking crazy. I'm like so blown out of my mind right now. It's, it looks so funny. All right, guys. Here's a little update. I got, I got, I got too carried away. I was having too much fun with the chrome, but the second coat is on, and uh, it is super shiny, dude. Can't wait to throw the purple in there. All right, guys. So I think it's ready to start on the purple. I'm going to first start by painting behind the headlights just to make sure everything goes well sometimes. Uh, I don't want to paint somewhere that, that is super visible and then the paint starts to crack for some freaking reason. I don't know. I, I don't major in science. So I don't know how the chemicals react to each other. So I'm going to start off by spraying this area real quick and just see how it looks. So give it a little spray spray. And then... light coats first it definitely smells like clear coat i'm seeing no reaction no cracking i think we're good to go guys i'll be honest it's a lot harder than it looks but it looks nice though uh, there's a lot of spots that are really hard to hit i'm gonna try my best to hit that spot but i bought an extra bottle of purple just in case i need it because yeah yeah what do you guys think let me know to be honest i don't even think i even needed the chrome i think i bought the wrong paint in general because i painted i tested it out i painted my little wrench that was chrome and look how it turned out it turned out really nice with just one quick spray i don't know about you guys but i see more than one shade of purple is this even purple this side looks really nice i gotta add some more paint on this one all right, guys, we are all done. Look at that color. Holy shit. It's like a totally different car. Let me grab the fender and see if the two color go well with each other. So I got the fender on and hope you guys are ready to see this. It's something that you got to get used to because the two colors are so different. But here it is. I actually like it a lot more with the fender on. Man, this looks so nice. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'm ending the video right here. This video has been taking me way too long. I gotta go back to the S14 motor, put that back together so that we can throw it into the 240 because I miss driving this thing. I don't like driving the Civic, it's so boring. Uh, there's so many car meets and car shows coming up right now and Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to make it. I need to get this done. It breaks my heart to see the 240 sit here and not move, so. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna call it a day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.